And the winner of the 2016 Nobel Prize for Literature is Bob Dylan. But wait, why is the Literature Award going to a musician? Are Bob Dylan's songs really an important contribution to literature? They really are. Born in 1941, Bob Dylan grew up playing music. When he turned 18, he enrolled in the University of Minnesota, focusing on rock and roll. He performed at local bars and coffee shops, telling the story of the people. But soon that wasn't enough. Folk music was his real inspiration. For him, it was more emotional, full of sadness and triumph. In short, it showed life more realistically, and that's what drew him to it. The 1960s following World War II were a time of peace, but many people, especially young people, were unhappy with the conservative norms of the time. They opposed the Vietnam War, they were more sexually progressive, and they demanded more freedoms and rights for women and minorities. While many dismissed this counterculture, Dylan resonated with this movement. These stories would become some of his most famous songs. In 1962, Blowin' in the Wind was released as a protest song about peace, war, and freedom. In 1964, the times they are a-changin' had become the anthem of the disenfranchised. By the time Like a Rolling Stone was released in 1965, Bob Dylan was speaking for a whole generation. Since that time, Bob Dylan has used folk music to capture the voice of every rebellious generation for the last 50 years, with over 30 albums, numerous awards, and a constant stream of hit songs. He continues to tell stories. Bob Dylan can play a great song, but what he does best is tell the story of every generation without a voice. He speaks for those who can't. Yeah. And that's why he received the 2016 Nobel Prize in Literature.